Greetings! Today we will learn how to create a business entity in 1C ERP system. As an example, we will use a typical company with some branches that sells goods in Europe. We can find all necessary features here in the master data subsystem of the business architecture diagram. Our company, SBS Trading, sells hoverboats in Germany. It has one related legal entity, SBS Trading GmbH. With the following structure, the central office in Munich with administration, procurement, sales and the central warehouse, and remote office in Berlin with the local sales service, the local warehouse and the local delivery service. In 1C ERP, legal and business structures are separated in two different catalogs. The company's catalog stores information about legal entities. The company structure catalog stores information about business entities of our company. Generally, the business structure represents the company's operating units, departments. They have a set of characteristics related to their functions. For example, departments can be production and non-production. They can represent cost and revenue centers. And finally, they may be the points of distribution of the indirect costs. Remember, this is the structure of SBS business, which is not always the same as the legal structure, the one in the company's catalog. Thus, we need to select both the department and the company in the operational documents. It may seem to be a duplicate action, but in some cases, like SBS trading, departments do not match the legal entities fully. And we need to know which entity carried out the transaction, both in legal and business terms. Okay, now we create a new company, SBS Trading GmbH. It is a legal entity, so click the Companies button in the Master Data and Settings menu section. Click Create. There are three different types of legal entities in 1C ERP. Business Entity, Individual Entrepreneur, and Branch Office. Each of them has its own specific set of attributes. So, we select Business Entity from the pop-up menu. Now we have the General Information tab opened and enter the name of our company, SBS Trading GmbH, and its prefix in the Names section. You can choose any prefix you like. This prefix will be used to generate the number of documents related to our company. Each company has its own general accounting and tax accounting policies. Let's create a new accounting policy for our company. Switch to the Accounting Policy and Taxes tab. Accounting Policy defines the rules for that accounting, depreciation method, straight line or non-straight line, and the inventory accounting method. Select the Create New One command and enter the accounting policy name. The depreciation method will remain straight line. This method is used by the majority of companies, including SBS Trading. Switch to the Inventory tab and select the FIFO rolling evaluation method of the goods accounting. This method will be used for the entire company. Click Save and Close. Now we need a bank account to pay our suppliers and receive payments from our customers. But before that, we should save the company record. Alright. Go to the Bank Accounts menu from the company screen. Click Create button and create a new bank account. Enter the account number and select its currency. We also need to fill in the required details of the bank where the account is opened. Click Save and close to apply these changes. There is only one thing left to do. We need to set up the business structure of the SBS trading company. Go to the Master Data and Settings menu section and select Company Structure. Click Create to create a new department. Enter its name, Administration, and click Save and Close to save it. 
We already created some departments here, but you still can practice and create the following departments yourself. Munich Purchasing Department, Munich Sales Department, Central Warehouse Department, Berlin Sales Department, Berlin Warehouse Department, and Berlin Delivery Department. And that's it. We have created the entire business structure of our company. Good job!